Bianchi says it's all road or so, can handle everything from commuting to centuries, touring to bike packing. That's a lot of ground to cover, even for a seasoned traveler like Eduardo Bianchi. How does the Orso get there? The heart of the bike is its 11-speed Shimano 105 STI drivetrain. Those hulking hoods let you know that you're not just shifting gears, you're squeezing hydraulic disc brakes. Through axles keep everything in line. The carbon fork can handle a rack, bottles, or gear cages. And the Kenda Flintridge tires are suitable on road and off. The Orso was a pleasure to ride for its own sake once I traded the squishy Bianchi label WTB for a saddle more my style. The stable steel machine feels like a beefed up, stretched out, up to date riff on the cyclocross bikes I turn to whenever I'm not on the clock. If you're only ferrying yourself around, its typical compact gearing is broad enough for rolling terrain, whether you favor the mean streets or the sweet trails. I thought the Orso was at its best in the gravel. There's your rock, here's your roll, what's your hurry? When it comes to carrying weight, your mileage may vary. Getting a rear rack to make nice with its eyelets, the breezer-style dropouts, and through-axle lever took some experimentation, consultation, and adaptation. And once I was ready to ride, the bike felt overloaded and undergeared. A bike packing rig with a lighter load felt much more the Orso's speed. And with the New Mexican desert still very much in the grip of drought, I came to appreciate the bike's water carrying capacity. Perhaps it should have been named for the camel instead of the bear. Look for my complete review of the Bianchi Orso in the October-November issue of Adventure Cyclist Magazine. I'm Patrick O'Grady. Thanks for riding along. <laughs>